Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to another installment of Hashtag Know Your Trucks, where we give you the opportunity to meet one uh, a different dancer every week from our current roster of dancers. We have a really diverse group of people, and we want to give you the chance to meet them a little bit better. Um, we're doing that by just asking them a few simple questions about their lives and their training prior to coming to the trucks. And that way, we hope that you get to know them besides just the face that you see with wig and makeup on stage. So for this installment, we have this lovely gentleman right here, Hao Jun Xie from China. Hi, Hao Jun. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Hao Jun, why don't we start right away and you go ahead and tell the viewers and uh, anyone else who doesn't know, where are you from and what was your training when you were young before you came in touch with the trucks and that kind of stuff? Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm from China and I was training at Beijing Dance Academy and it's like a Vaganova Russian style, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so how did you first hear about the trucks? Cause, um, Cause I'm sure you, performed with other schools and companies and stuff before coming to join us? Yes, I was, I first time hear about the trucks was at the, the dance school and mm -hmm. I was like a 12 in years China? old. Your dance school in China? Yeah, dance school in China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was like a 12 years old and then I hear about like a truck and then it's on point and all those things like, a male dancers on point and teacher was show us about like a swan lake video and then when i first time saw video i was like wow that's incredible like all like all male like on point mm -hmm. and did you come to the united states uh with another dance school or company in mind or did you come to the united states already planning on hopefully joining the trucks uh like i i was i was re really want to drive with trucks and then mm -hmm. but i'm free about it like to to audition because i hear like uh it's uh their other dancer is really good and then it's <laughs> hard to audition and like you need to on point you need to do this and then i said oh, okay i just take time and then it's the right time, it's the right time I did the audition. And it was two years ago, 2019, I said, mm -hmm. I want to move back to New York and then how I can do, I love truck and I Google truck zero and then I try contact with the director. I say how I can audition, what I need and then what time is available to audition. Yeah. And the rest is history. Now you're here with us. Um, yes, yes. How Jun is a wonderful dancer. He, what I personally love about How Jun is that he's incredibly strong doing male roles and female roles. And although that's true for our entire roster of dancers, I enjoy seeing him in both roles equally. And normally that's not the case. We kind of find that certain people do certain roles better than the others or perform the ballerina roles better than the male roles. But this one right here can do them both equally beautiful. How June, what have you what do you enjoy the most about being a member of the trucks so far? Uh I really enjoyed traveling with the truck around the world, you know, that's amazing things. Like yeah, you're around the world and then just the opportunity to travel, yeah. Yes, and then I love like a performance with the truck, and then also it's really happy like around you guys and then around like all the dancers, colleagues. Yes, the camera, like, yeah, yes, feel like a family, you know, like when you're on tour and stay like one month or two months. Yeah, so by the by the same token, right, by the same idea. What do you find the hardest thing about, because you've been with us now almost two years, right? It's going to be yeah. two years. So in the two years that you've been with the company, what have you found is the hardest thing for you about the job? Uh, the hardest things, like, 
like er uh, for me it's like earlier call like you know, really. you, know, you, know, you know, I'll you like keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. They have a lot of early. Calls, I'm sorry. Yeah, and then other just just like you know is a body change because traveling and jet line and、mm -hmm. dance performance and then weather different and、mm -hmm. hot cold. You need to deal everything. You need to. Really fast to change your body, and then where you like one hundred percent focus like a performance because you want like a performance like one hundred percent to all ends, and then show all ends like okay, I'm fine. I'm not about like a traveling. I'm not about everything to you know to like show them I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Yeah, of course. Of course. So um, obviously because of our touring life, there are many days that. We're asking you to be at your best at night, obviously, because it's when we're doing shows. And then the next day, I'm asking you to be at your best at the very beginning of the morning because you have to get up to go to the airport and stuff. So I can see how that's very difficult. Yeah, you,、um, we try. We try. It doesn't always work out. <laughs>、um, yes, as we know. How are you managing to? In shape right now that you're still in New York City、uh, during the pandemic and and everything else, all of the social upheaval that we're having right now, much needed and overdue. How are you managing to stay in shape and balanced physically and to not go crazy emotionally? What are you doing right now to keep it together? So I I will. Take class, like I take ballet class every day, and then try to do like a yoga and stretch, relax, and to do like some exercise and stay healthy. And also, I using quarantine time to learn something, you know, to learn something I want to learn. And then in this time, I have time to push myself forward and to learn something. Yeah, I mean, everybody has to use the time as effectively as possible for yourself right now. I'm learning about、yes. gardening, so every person is doing something different these days. So yeah, you know. I wish I can have like a garden or yard, you know, like a <laughs> New York City living, city living.、So. Yes, yes. Um, Arjun, I want to thank you obviously for taking the time right now to. To chat with us and to chat with the viewers that get to see, you know, a little bit about the life of all of our dancers.、Um, before I before I、um, ask you again to just maybe say some final thoughts for our audience, I want to remind anyone that's viewing this、uh, series that closures and cancellations because of the COVID nineteen pandemic have really majorly disrupted access to revenue. For our artists, all artists, and art organizations all over the world, if you are really enjoying the content that、uh, we are uploading into our social media platforms, I'm going to ask you to consider maybe donating to the Trocs by visiting, as you can see below, trocadero.org/forward/slash/donate.、Um, uh, I'm also rolling here on the ticker our Instagram address and. Uh, How June's Instagram. You can follow the Trocs. You should follow How June. We all have great stuff for you to see in our social media platforms.、Um, How June? Any final thoughts for anyone that's、uh, viewing us right now、uh, before we say goodbye? Anything else you want to say? I want to say, please, everybody, stay safe and then keep on trucking. Yeah. Creep on trucking,、uh, peeps. There has been no better time to seek further education. On anti-racism, and for everybody to do their part, our part, to、uh, combat the social pandemic as well. So once and for all, let's use our time to educate ourselves. Stay safe. Wear a mask, and like how June said, everybody, please keep on trucking.、Uh, join us again next week. I'm sure we'll have some other incredible trucadera dancer for you to learn more about. And how June, thank you again for joining us. Bye everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.